Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can build a basic calculator in Java. So we'll build a little calculator where the user can enter in two numbers, and then the calculator will add those two numbers together and print out the answer onto the screen. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And we can use this scanner in order to do that. So in the last lesson, I showed you guys how we can use a scanner in order to get input from a user. And basically all I have to do to use this scanner is just say scanner and I give it a name. So keyboard input in our case, and I set it equal to a new scanner and I pass system dot in into these parentheses. And then up here, I also need to say import Java dot util dot scanner. And that basically just tells Java that we want to use the scanner. So now that we have the scanner set up, let's create a little calculator. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll say system dot out dot print. And in here, we're basically gonna prompt them to enter in the first number. So I'll say, enter in first number, and then we'll put a colon. And after this, we basically wanna take the number that they enter in, and we wanna store it inside of a variable. So I'm gonna create a double variable. So I'll say double, and we'll call this num1, and I'm gonna set this equal to keyboard input. So I'm referring to this scanner, and we're gonna say dot next double. And what this is doing is it's basically telling Java that we want to take whatever the user inputs and we wanna create a double variable from it. So we're assuming that the user is gonna enter in a number. So we'll take whatever number they enter and we'll store it inside of this double variable. We can actually do the same thing for the second number. So I'll just copy this and we can say, instead of enter the first number, we'll say enter the second number, and we'll just call this num2. And again, it's just gonna be keyboard input dot next double. So at this point in our program, we've prompted the user to enter in two numbers, and we've grabbed both of those numbers and stored them inside of doubles. Finally, we just wanna print out the answer. So we can say system dot out dot print line, and we're gonna print out the answer that we get. So it's basically just gonna be num1, plus num2. So let's go ahead and run our program and we'll see how we did. I'm gonna click the run button over here and it says enter in first number. So why don't we enter in 10, enter in second number, let's enter in 15 and it's gonna print out 25.0. So it's basically taking the two numbers, adding them together and then again over here, you'll see that we have a double. And the reason that we made it a double and not an integer is so that I can put any numbers I want in here. So I could put in like 10.54276, and I could also put in like 30.9, point whatever. And it's gonna be able to add in those numbers no matter what. Here's one of the problems with this calculator though. This is a very basic calculator, obviously. We're just starting off with Java. But one of the problems we're running into is when I run this program, if I don't enter in a number here, so if I just said dog, you'll notice that we get this error. And that's basically because the user didn't enter in what they were supposed to enter in. They didn't enter in a number. And this is a problem that you're gonna run into with a basic calculator like this. And as we go through this course, you're gonna learn different ways that we can check to see what the user input. So eventually we're gonna learn about something called if statements and we'll be able to figure out you know, what the user input, if they entered in a number, and if they did enter in a number, we can use it, and if they didn't, we could yell at them for it. So that's just something to look forward to as this course goes on. But for the most part, that's how we can build a basic calculator inside of Java. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.